I never debate, so when I be bringing it, let it be heard. You better be clinging to every word. And I'm sick of the bigotry over your mind, and you better be feeling me poking around. The biggest of all of the jokers around, but still I'm the one to be holding it down. Took a single look, I never shook a dog out. Like a crook was stealing cookies from a rookie girl scout. Ozone's fifth year anniversary. Your shit is absolutely crazy. Yo, and make sure you check out our new album, Weapon of Choice, is coming out soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the king in the building. Henry Bowers, also a new album on the way. A delicate craft, keep an eye out. So who, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Why are we here? Why are we here? We have Hyper Ozone, not by Sound Knockout, not got an album out. <laughs> now, rapper on my right, it's Chrome! Oh. <laughs> Malmö, jag har saknat denna publiken, alltså jag har fucking saknat er som fan. Let's go! Oh. Oh. Rapper on our left, Math Hoffa! Pack oh. yeah. juice in the building, Brooklyn, you know what it is, we here. I'm not holding the mic. Mike is on. Chrome starts. Hello, can you hear? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Fucking whorunge! I told you not to sleep on me like this and arse. Yes, I'm arrogant, but hot. A white boy killing a black guy, getting away with it. That's an American cop. I'm mad serious. Matt, I'm not serious. Don't punk me. Don't act superior. You claim you punch Jones because lack of food. Bitch, I wish this match was in Nigeria. But I heard you wanted to punk me. That clearly isn't an option. If you deck me first, I'll have math outnumbered when I carry out a subtraction. Look around you, you behind enemy lines in the crowd, I got a few crazy Arabs watching. If I say the word, look around me, in the crowd, I got a few crazy Arabs watching. If I say the word, they'll turn the American sniper into an American hostage. Chubb! <laughs> You might think me killing these Americans you keep bringing is a hobby. I know, because of the language, sometimes my performance might seem a little sloppy. I don't battle much, but two debatables with two of your biggest, that's a little cocky. I'm like Christian Bale. Every time I'm in front of the camera, you see a different body. <laughs> but these fuckboy fans hate me because I'm everything anti-American means. Put a bullet in Christina Milian's ex. Assassinate the American dream, but fuck all that. I came here to show math that I'm able to kill. You are not known for bars. You're well known for swinging like Jada and Will. <laughs> you did a blog in your mom's apartment, apologized when you folded Jones. But then you took it down and started bragging how you knocked that homie cold. Described in vivid detail how we fell and what you did. You only gloat. You just want to overdose on that same buzz you felt when you was overdosed. But now you got a brand new image. That is just a hack act for the public. Check his Twitter. His bio says, search my name on Worldstar, hashtag fuck it. You love it. You love it. You act sorry like you actually give a fuck. But soon as they mention Dose or Jones, you smile when they bring it up. I can see through you and I'll break you down like no one ever did it. You and those fights are like Tiger fucking Kylie. You love it, but you'll never admit it. A grown man punching people and bragging. You punk you. Ironic you're six foot three, but your kids have no one to look up to. <laughs> Yo, turn my mic up, turn my mic up. 
Turn my mic up. Yeah. 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 Y'all ready? Yeah. Right now, Chrome is like finally. Daddy spending time with me. Ooh. That probably hurt your feelings. Honestly, I wasn't trying to be fucked up because your pops passed. Because that type of trash is slime to me. I only throw dirt on the dead at the burial because I'm that kind of G. But I tell you what, I'm going to make you an offer as an apology. I'm going to adopt you for the night. <laughs> there you go. Flash that fucked up ass smile at me. Now be a good son and disappear, light and quietly, because daddy's a star. And no matter where you are, you'll never shine with me. Now when I heard Sweden, Automatically, it reminded me, this is the place where Pat stayed, spit the shoddy, all his rhymes for me. Surprisingly, I brought something through customs they didn't find on me. I hope y'all ready. It's about to get heavy. Nigga, I brought some gun lines with me. Hey, yo, I got that 12 gauge, about to run in this lobby. I'ma turn chrome to Pat stay, before I dump on his body. Say everything you got to say to me in front of this shoddy. Then boom, I open chrome like I don't fuck with Safari. Oh. Oh. I slip the clip out the nine. If I wanna get cocky and whack on this whack off, Daniel son of Miyagi. Picture his head like a PS4. This is gonna get sloppy. I'ma keep knocking bits off till when I'm done it's Atari. You're up against the best. Act like a believer. We bump heads, it'll lead to you getting sliced like a pizza. Leaning, blood will be flowing out the side of your sneaker. You see Chrome, you'll see Rome. I left the knife in his Caesar. Oh, shit. Europe, Italy, Rome, knife in it. See, that's a waste of a skin. Cause don't nobody know Chrome. You battled two well-known faggots, yes, still. <laughs> Nobody knows Chrome. You about as useless as a Roman plan thrown on a home phone. How the fuck could you not heat up? You the biggest hole in the ozone. Cause you know Chrome, you don't got bars like that. Stop catfishing rappers for dick pics, trying to see if they hard like that. So try not to fall asleep. You know his bars type whack. And I'll be here next round to bring them bars right back. Everybody said it was karma, and you hate that. We all knew karma was a bitch. Who knew karma was an Arab? <laughs> we, we all saw what happened at Total Slaughter. You battled disaster and fumbled. Guess you could say you battled him twice, and both times you managed to stumble. But I heard you got like four kids. That's insane. Wow, sick. You don't raise nines. You raise nine kids. <laughs> Last time you were on Vlad's couch, you took off your shoes and placed your feet on it. After the interview, you asked if you could bring back the couch so your kids can sleep on it. <laughs> Bonnie left you, now you suddenly got a kid with a new girl. Shit's foul. Not a single pick of that new baby mama. You're trying to hide that bitch from public like Chris Brown. John John disrespected you worse than any other battler. He caught a body when he met Bonnie, and he didn't have to battle her. When he told you they fucked, you died inside, but it was odd, because you didn't snuff him. That's how I knew this guy just tries to be hard. You continue to rap, but you couldn't hide that your pride has been scarred. John fucked your girl like Drake did Little Wayne's, and you just cried behind bars. She left you because you broke. You didn't even have new jewelry. Like Bonnie and Family Guy, she was dating someone who's only half the man he used to be. Agreed to battle before I said the amount. Matt doesn't have much. Is you balling? That's like you not paying child support. Matt doesn't add up. You, 
Do rag, do rag again. Do rag. Say, really? You fucking egghead! You egghead! You always rock a hat. I don't blame you, sport. He was once on TMZ when Justin Bieber threw him on his neighbor's porch. Go home, spend time with your kids. I bet they're completely fed up. Your slogan, finally, daddy spending time with me, is making your own kids jealous. You said John wasn't a gangster because his name was McGee. That's some fuck shit, remember? I admit, Matthew sounds much better, but your real name is Justin Edwards. That don't sound G, sounds like a fucking professor. I ought to punch Justin in the face, just in case, because he keeps looking at me like, do it. But I'd rather put Justin in a bag, just in case. Okay. Speaking of that, you told Diz to punch you, he punched you, and then you got mad. That was some lame shit. I bet if I threaten you right now, you do exactly the same shit. Bro, do you know how famous I would be if I punch you right now? Can I, can I, can I, can I punch you right now? Can I do it? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? He did exactly the same thing. I wanted to prove a point and show you. He did exactly what I said. Now be a good little boy for the rest of the battle. Watch me control you. Crazy. All right. We got the matchup of the century. I hope everybody's happy now. All eyes on the ring to see two champions finally scrap it out. This motherfucker ain't no champion. So you know this ain't the match I'm rapping about. Let's wrap this shit up so I could go home and watch Mayweather and Pacquiao. Yeah. Now, I told Chubb, I told Chubb, I like white pussy when we rapped on the phone. He said, that's perfect. I said, why? He said, because you battling Chrome. When I heard your name, for a second, I started scratching my dome. Then I remembered that Arsenal match where you dug in your sack and gave Dap to the Jones. I was like, damn, this motherfucker must really like the smell of his balls. Because that whole fucking battle, you kept tapping your nose. <laughs> You know what I hate? That you diss America every time you battle Americans. I don't know if you realize this, but all those facts are irrelevant. Why don't you save all those I hate America bars and go battle the president? Black lives are terrorized every time we leave our tenements. The cops are gunning us down and getting off with a heap of evidence. I don't need you to walk in the room and go, hey dog, do you see the elephant? Yes, motherfucker. <laughs> You sound retarded as shit. On top of that, you battle rapping. Guess who started this shit? We all connected through hip hop. New York was the heart of this shit. You keep taking that shit in vain, you need your arteries slit. But you want to get personal. For what it's worth, I'm a star. Because you halfway across the earth trying to find dirt through the blogs. From the first time I saw you, from the first time I saw you, I knew exactly the type of person you are. I said, oh, this is Chrome? Okay, I guess he left his purse in the car. I met your broad last night, looking thirsty at the bar. I said, here's a tip, come with me. I have you purr in the mall. I showed her a whole new world. I left earth with the broad. I had her legs on my shoulders for so long, the bird thought she worked for Jafar. <laughs> now you wanna, it's a fucking battle. Why you wanna bring a politics? Since you want to bring a politics, cool. I'm going to break down politics. Watch this shit. Now, poly means many. Like polyester is a fabric mixed with a lot of shit. And ticks are bloodsuckers. Now, this is where I threw on the Hoffa flip. Politics means many bloodsuckers sucking on a lot of dick. <laughs> and I heard you got shot before. And that shit made you cocky? Sure. Well, I guess you tough when the ambulance is fast and the doctor got a high rapport. 
got shot trespassing. You wasn't even in nobody's war. You tried to rush in and got dropped. You Apollo Creed and Rocky IV. Because, Crow, you don't got bars like that. You'll never get booked overseas. You're not a star like that. So try not to fall asleep. You know his bars type whack, and I'll be here next round to bring the bars right back. You used to be a beast. There was a certain static around you because of Dose and Jones, no one in battle rap actually clowned you. But that changed when disaster snuffed you. Now your whole brand has no value. You robbed Kardashian. Haven't been the same since that aura stopped hanging around you. I mean, what happened? In that battle, you looked timid. You even looked different. Warren G performing Regulators Live in 2015. The hook's missing. You were all over the place when it jumped to. It was brutal at times. We started seeing math everywhere like Russell Crowe in a beautiful mind. You must curse daily when you think about it. You go berserk crazy. You washed up, literally. That disaster hit you worse than Haiti. You should thank me. I made this league put money in your pocket so you best be nice. You was the shit. Now you're just a black celebrity who no one hires. You Wesley Snipes. <laughs> Not being able to bring food to the table, that's some stressful shit. I feel like Ashton Kutcher dating Demi more the way I'm feeding someone else's kids. A grown man bragging on Vlad TV how he's handling his different feuds. You a parent. What happens if your kid starts attacking other kids in school? You always want to talk about how you manhandling different dudes. When it comes to bragging, you are not Sony because you would never cancel the interview. I can fight too. Though that shit sounds lame, B, I'll dodge that hook in my fist. Pops up out of nowhere like Chris Brown's baby. If I spot weakness, I'll prey on it. Separated from the herd and stay on it. Same bullet that killed Jimmy. How far got a bullet with your name on it? Soon, KOTD, is that how Brooklyn do? You must be broke being 40, still in the game. Four kids running around doing battle shit at 40 is in the game. If in the past you were really the type of rapper used to tuck a 40 in the game, won't matter that lawsuit makes you bitch. It's like 40 did game. Hoffa, the bully who put the smack in smack, that man is long gone. Those court papers stripe you off your title like Lance Armstrong. I've been in worse situations, jumped by gang members in O2. No court, no cops. I'll find a dude that threw the first punch and handled that with my own two. But I'm not gonna compare backgrounds, Justin. I think your past is real. But a war occupied Boston and Brooklyn isn't the same, different type of battlefields. But I will say, fuck your excuses, cause they all pitiful. Only time you see a Boston in a courtroom is with war criminals. <laughs> Motherfucker, you used to punch people for a buzz. You sneaky punk. Everybody wanted to be the first one to punk you. Disaster literally beat us to the punch. <laughs> you're not street, you're not tough, and it just hit me. You punched Jones because he said, Woo! I disrespected your parenthood and you didn't hit me. Time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo! Shit. <laughs> Really breaking me down, bro. Damn. But when this is over, I want to fuck your mother. Picture that. Big black dick ripping a snatch. When it's over, she'll call me tonte. Know why? I got a gift in the sack. But out of all of my gifts, this gift of rhymes the coolest. It got me all around the world. And I ain't have to sign for music. When you look at me, can you tell that I'm an expelled high school student that became a young father with no real father to guide me through it? Now, some guys will lose it, like my pops did, for lack of spinal fluid. I said my son wasn't going to grow up like me. And I grinded through it. Picture me at 1.45 in the morning. He crying, and I'm trying to soothe him, rocking him back and forth, singing songs. And he's just crying through it. One night I got so fucking desperate, trying to find solutions. I said, my son loves Elmo, right? Fuck it, I'm gonna try some new shit. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Daddy gotta get his ass up by five. 
I mean, I did anything. I worked jobs, robbed, even caught some white to move it, to make sure he had food, clothing, and shelter, paid for school and all types of cool shit. Now, my son got older and made the newspapers. They did a science exclusive. He's on a roll, top of his class, amongst the brightest students. I taught him in life, you find a way. We don't find excuses. These battle rappers try to paint me as some kind of a nuisance, a troublemaker, a bad example, but they just rhyme illusions. Because if you judge me by how I raised my son, I'm a fine influence. Nice. Talk to that nigga now. Yeah. But you, let's talk about your battle with Ali Wan. That shit ended with a right, like a classic fight that Ali won. But fuck the fight. Nigga, what's up with that rape charge? The way you never responded to that and your face made me feel like you raped broads. You talk about you hate America, because we cruel and we make wars. But if y'all let this rapist walk around free, then that mean I should hate yours. I grew up under a single mother, just me and my sister. So for a rapist like you, I wouldn't mind squeezing a blicker. And I don't care if he plead with a nigga, I still clap him over and over with no emotion, like Nils rapping. I should be battling, I should be battling Henry Bowers. It's absurd they gave me you. Everybody knew I would body chrome like Terminator 2. You're through. Helpless chicks shouldn't help you find directions. If my rhyme's offending, then look inside and find a lesson. You shouldn't throw stones when you're a rapist trying to hide aggression. Happiness is an inside job, just like 9-11. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, bro. Just, just like what you said. No bullshit. Sticks in the building. Mama! Happy anniversary. JR Studio, Sticks in the building. They're going to help this shit. My peace! I'm down! I'm down to win us! Yo, W. Keep forgetting. Yo, hit me up. Hotfaluya.com. Cops of Pac Juice t shirts. You know what it is. Juice, we out here. Yo, shout out to everybody that came out, man. I love y'all. Thank you.